It was too close for comfort for some. For others, it was just what the Shockers needed. A second straight comeback from a double-digit deficit. It has the jury still out on Wichita State, but not in every area. Jake Schlegel is at the Roundhouse. Shane, it wasn't pretty last night, but a win is a win. And the fact is, the Shockers might not be the best team in the country right now, but they might have the most heart. We continue to fight. Uh, we find a way, um, you know, and that's what these guys have done. That's, that's why we're 8-1. and one. I'm, I'm pleased with the resiliency toughness that this team continues to exhibit. Uh, they're a great group to coach. They never say die. They, you know, that's coaching cliches, cliches and all that, but that's true. Darius Carter came up with big bucket after big bucket. He started an 11-0 run to tie the game late and hit the go-ahead bucket with under 30 seconds left. Thought he started off. He scored like our first eight points or something like that. Um, thought he got fouled on the last play, but he still was able to get it through and dunk it in. Um, a tremendous find from. Fred, but Darius is rebounding. He's scoring around the basket. He's hitting his little mid-range jumper. Just got to knock his free throws down. There's no doubt the Shockers are still a work in progress, but Marshall says these close wins are actually good for the Shockers. It helps because th that I thought Alabama again. They had a great game plan. They uh, Anthony and his guys did a wonderful job tonight. They gave us everything that we could want and more. Um, it's just a. Uh, it should help us. The Shockers are now off until Monday when they'll play Loyola Marymount in the opening round of the Diamond Head Classic out in Hawaii. At Coke Arena, Jake Schlegel, Cake Sports. Hawaii sounds kind of good right about now. Not a bad gig Let for us. the Shocks over Christmas. Yes, no uh, one outside. All right, we'll be right back.